السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وما بعد Respected brothers and sisters of Islam This is your brother Uthman Sharif and I come to you today with a message regarding the situation which is occurring in Palestine which we are, which we are all well aware of <coughs> and this comes as a reminder to myself first but all of us on uh, some things that we could do during these difficult times, during these times of trials and tribulations that people not only in Palestine are going through and we have to keep them in our dua because of the situation of Al-Aqsa and because of the tyranny that they are going through, but all those Muslims in the world who are going through any type of difficulty. This Ramadan, I was uh, visiting a friend of mine, a uh, great scholar, Sheikh Umar Ahmad, and he mentioned a very interesting story. We were discussing this issue of Palestine and Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. And he said that he read somewhere that a few years ago, a great scholar from South Africa, Mufti Ibrahim Saluji, Hafidahullah, was visiting Masjid Al-Aqsa and he was uh, having a conversation with the Imam, the Sheikh Ali. And the Imam mentioned to Mufti Saab that, the dip, that we are facing you know, lots of difficulties and we, go, we have been tested with many trials and tribulations. You know, we have protested, we have tried to raise our voice but it seems like the, the Muslim Ummah as a whole isn't always with us or we don't feel the support of all the Muslim countries. So what, what is your nasiha regarding this particular situation? So Mufti Ibrahim remained silent. And then he mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in, in the Holy Quran, Surah Bani Israel, وَقَضَيْنَا إِلَىٰ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ فِي الْكِتَابِ لَتُفْسِدُنَّ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَّتَيْنِ وَلَتَعْلُنَّ عُلُوًا كَبِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we ordain upon the people of Bani Israel that they would spread corruption in the land, not once but twice Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and through that corruption that they will spread, they will become increasingly arrogant, uluwan kabira. And then the verses go on to say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when they, when they, the first time that they went off track, that they deviated from the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He sent His pious servants to rectify their affairs and to fix them. And then they made tawbah and they came back to the right track. But Allah predicted that again, they went away from the teachings of their prophets. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَإِذَا جَاءَ وَعْدُ الْآخِرَةِ The second time they went away from the commandments of Allah, لِيَسُوءُ وُجُوهَكُمْ Their faces were disfigured. وَلِيَدْخُلُوا الْمَسْجِدَ كَمَا دَخَلُوهُ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٍ وَلِيُتَبِّرُوا مَعَلَوْ تَدْبِيرًا Their houses were ransacked and their places of worship were entered. So just like this, Mufti Ibrahim said that we are the believers of today, like the people of Bani Israel were the believers of that time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forewarned that they would turn away from <clears throat> his obedience. Allah would give them an opportunity, they would repent, but then when they went back to sinning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that they found themselves in ruin. We as an ummah have to come back and make ruju to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The reason I mentioned this is Mufti Mawana Ashraf Ali Tanmi, Rahimahullah mentioned in his tafsir that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has two different situations which he has allocated. One is for Baytul Haram, Masjid al-Aqsa. He mentions that the, the safety and the sanctity of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always be taken care of by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regardless of the condition of the ummah. But the condition of Masjid al-Haram and our brothers and sisters there is directly related to our a'mal and our actions. If we don't come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we don't cry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we don't engage in extra prayers, nawafil, if we don't become punctual with our, fired, our daily fard prayers, if we don't engage in the recitation of the Qur'an, then the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be difficult for us. So we as an ummah, People who are not in Palestine, what we can do is engage in these a'mal of dua, in salah, leaving out sin, making a connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, becoming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rectifying the ailments of the heart. As far as the people of Palestine, they are going through so much. For them, we pray for them and we tell them to continue their fight. We tell, we tell them to continue the struggle that they have been going through for years and years and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them. So this message is for not directly to them, but it is for us as people who are not in Palestine, who are not going through those atrocities to do these a'mal. And one such amal that we can do is the qulu the nazila which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa did during the time, during his time when the Muslims were weakened or when he wanted to make dua against some oppression, they would make qunu the nazila a dua in the salatul fajr salat the imam would make. So we, I urge all of us to 
you know, encourage our imams, our, our masajid, that we all come upon this amal. So we should spread the message by hashtag global prayer for oppressed. We should use this slogan and we should use social media for this particular message and we should all involve ourselves in this in this act. And don't forget our brothers in Syria and sisters in Syria. Don't forget our brothers and sisters in China and the, the Muslims of Rohingya, the Muslims all over the world who are going through any oppression. We should perform the Qunut Nazila and we should make lots of dua for them. We should make lots of salah for them. We should send salawat upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we should make an effort to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we couple this with our protesting and our political affiliation with those who may help us, then we will see the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will surely come to us. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease the difficulty and the pain that Ummah is going through. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.